Hey crew, I'm excited to see you this month. We are going to do our Let's Create video. And today I have my friend Kylie. Kylie is, how old are you? Eight. So you are in third grade? Second grade and today she is going to create with me and we're gonna do a special project called milk magic it's got a lot of really cool supplies before I tell you what you need to gather for today's create video I want to talk to you about some watercolors that we have that are on sale just for you so if you are running low on your watercolors now might be a great time to ask your parents if you can get a new set because you save your allowance money because they are on sale just for you. So we have lots of different kinds of watercolors. We have these paint pots. We have these chroma blends. They come with a water brush and it's like a travel set. So if you'd like to travel, you might want something like that. And then we have our two sets that I really like, our neons and our metallic. And before we started taping, Kylie, was telling me that she has, you have these, right? Yes. And uh, which ones do you feel like you use the most? Do you have a favorite? Um, so I only use this one once. I haven't, well, I don't know which one I use once, but um, I got one of them for Christmas. Nice, so the, these are like shiny, kind of, and yeah. then these are like really bright colors. Mm-hmm, match your shirt. Yeah. <laughs> what kind of thing? Yeah, that color. What kind of things do you like to paint with watercolors? Like, um, do you have a certain kind of thing you like to do? Abstract. Mm-hmm. Things people tell me what to paint. Yeah. Uh huh. Abstract is my favorite kind of painting. I like it because I can just do whatever I want. And when you're the artist, you get to make the decisions. So these watercolors are on sale, and if you would like them, you can get them. Now let's talk about the supplies you're gonna need for today's activity. So here is what you are going to need. You're gonna need some paper. The thicker the paper, the better. So if you have watercolor paper, that would be excellent. If you have cardstock, that is great. If you don't have either of those, but you have computer paper, it will work. So don't worry, it will work. It's just computer paper is really thin and the thicker the paper, the better your results. So you can use the, all of those kinds. The thicker watercolor paper is the thickest, that's the best. Then the middle is cardstock, which is what we're gonna be using today. And then you can also use regular printer paper. So we need paper. We need dish soaps. I just had this big, big mama of dish soap at my house. So you don't need this much. You only need a few drops, but this is, this is what this is what Costco told me to get, so I did. And then you need a gallon, uh, or you don't even need a gallon, you just need some milk. Um, I took this straight from my fridge at home, so hopefully my children don't want cereal because we're using it to do art today. <laughs> Any kind of milk will work. Almond milk, cow milk. What other kind of milks are there? Uh. This That's cow milk. I don't know, coconut milk. Any kind of milk is gonna work. Um, so whatever milk you have in your fridge. Dairy free milk. Dairy free milk I would hate, work. I hate mm -hmm. that milk. I hate that milk too. <laughs> then you're gonna need a few Q-tips, just maybe three or four. So we have some in our jar. Time. You are gonna need some kind of container. Um, you know what works really, really great for this? is a brownie pan or a like casserole dish. This is gonna be where we pour the milk into it. We are using these clear plastic trays because that's what we have at the studio. So some kind of container and then something to put the dish soap in. So we have two tiny bowls. We're gonna put a few dots of the dish soap in our bowls. And then, what are these called again? <laughs> what are these called again? Remember food this? Color. Food coloring. You're gonna need food coloring. So the best kind of food coloring would be the liquid kind. The gel kind, I'm not sure if the gel kind will work. You could try it. Um, but the liquid kind works super great. Or if you have liquid watercolors, you could use those too. So we've got lots of different colors. We've got paper. We've got a dish for our soap, a container for our milk, Q-tips, dish soap, and milk. milk. Pause the video, gather those things, and then meet us right back here. Oh, yes, yes, for the soap. Meet us right back here, and then we're gonna do some milk magic. 
Okay, so are you ready to do some magic milk? Yes. Yes. This is gonna be a two-part project. The first part is just, uh, we're gonna watch. The milk is gonna do something really cool, something you've probably never seen before. And I'm gonna talk about it. It's actually science, and it has to do with molecules and fat and all sorts of fun things. So you're about to have a school lesson. How excited are you about that? Yay, right? <laughs> I don't like school. I know, but we're going to combine art and science, and it's going to be really cool. Then, after we play with it for a while, then we're going to do something called making a print. When you make a print, you take a piece of paper, you write, and you place it in the paint, or and on this case, it's going to be... Spot. Mm -hmm, this case is going to use the food coloring, and then we're going to lift it up, and it's going to create a print. So, we have cut our paper to fit in our tray. So you'll want to make sure yours at home will fit in your tray, whatever size tray you're using. Um, I thought of another um, thing that you could use. You could use like a pie pan for this too, and you could cut your pieces of paper smaller so that you could do it. Yeah, you could do it over and over and over again. All right, so to get started, we are going to put a little bit of Dawn dish soap in our bowls. And then let's get out three or four um, Q-tips. Can you get out the Q-tips for me while I'm doing the soap? That's about just, just a little glug. So how much? Um, let's give each of us, uh, let's start with four. How about that? Each of us will start with four. Perfect, thank you. So I'm gonna set these aside. And we're gonna use this dish soap. It's gonna do a really cool thing. Now what we need to do is we need to fill our tray with milk. It just needs to be a real thin layer. We don't need to use a whole bunch. I, this, one, this one's brand new. Um, so I'm gonna open it up and I'm gonna pour in some milk for you. If you are doing this um, by yourself, you probably are gonna want an adult to help you pour this milk <laughs> because I don't know about you, but spilling milk is like the worst. So I'm just gonna pour, there we go, some for you, and some for me. And put the lid back on, because. What if you ran out of milk? Well, then you would have to wait and try this an, at another time. Yeah, and write down all the stuff. Yes, it doesn't take very much milk. So maybe, that's maybe a quarter cup in each of ours. So let me put the milk back. Now, we are going to check. We are going to take off the lids of our food coloring. Be very careful, food coloring is, it will stay in your fingers. Yeah, cause you know what else we use food coloring for? What? The Brightly Play-Doh. Have you been able to play with the Brightly Dough before? Yeah. From the Brightly Boxes? We'll I'm be... just gonna use these three colors. Perfect. I have red, pink, yellow, and blue, and then I'm actually also going to use some of this liquid watercolor. This is what we use at the studio. Liquid watercolor and food coloring are really similar. So I'm going to use some of those colors. Now what we're going to do is we are going to make dots all over our milk. Okay? Why don't you watch me do it first, and then you can kind of see how, how much. You don't want to really squeeze, you just want like a little bloop. Okay. So why don't you put some dots, and we're gonna really put a bunch of colors. Kind of spread them out. And you can do as many as you want. I'm gonna use some of this, oh yeah, some hot pink. And we'll do this a couple times, Kylie. It's fun to do this activity over and over again. Do some yellow. You can even overlap your colors if you want. You, that will, of course, make a new color. When two colors mix together, they blend. What color are you using right now? Red. Red. I can see blue. What's that dark color that you put purple. in there? Purple. Um, can I try that color? Of course. Yeah. You don't even really need to squeeze. It just needs a little drop. There you go, oh yeah. I'm gonna put a little green. Okay. Um, All right, now, 
Are you ready for the magic? Yeah. The magic. Drum roll. Okay, we're gonna take, this is how we are gonna make this magic. I'm gonna, we're gonna just do it first and then I'm gonna explain how it happens, okay? Because it's science and science is cool. We're gonna dip in the Q-tip in the dish soap and swirl it around so that it's covered in soap. Now, when you take your Q-tip, you are gonna lightly touch the little sections of the color. Not yet, not yet. Oh. <gasps> Oh, isn't that so cool? That is what we call the milk magic. Just touch each one and then move it around. Don't swirl. Yes, there you go. Oh my gosh. I just want to watch yours first. Very cool. Now, if it does, if you touch one color and it doesn't explode, then turn it over and do the other, dip it into the soap and then touch a new color. This is a chemical reaction. And so, and once a chemical reaction is done, it's done. So it doesn't do it over, it doesn't repeat. All right, here goes mine. It kind of looks like a volcano. Ooh. Oh my gosh, look at that. It's like a color tornado. Are we only gonna use one? We can use more. Yeah, no, we can use more. I'm just gonna, that turquoise, the, the pink. My pink got like pushed to the edge. I'm trying to find a spot where I didn't do it. You don't want to swish around because what will happen then is all the colors will mix together. Um, and so we want to keep the colors separate because we're going to dip our paper in here. Remember? We're mixing right now, kind of. They are, but they're not becoming one color. You can see each color still separately. I'm going to try to do this side. You can pick up the colors too. Yeah. I poked one and then it came on here. It's cool. Mm-hmm. You can kind of use your Q-tip to push your colors a little bit. Like if I have so much yellow, I want to kind of move my colors around because I have all those fun colors. And I want to get them in the middle, so I'm kind of pushing it. Oh! <laughs> I think I could do this for hours. What do you think? Oh, I like how you made those lines. That's so cool. All right, I'm gonna dip another one just to see what I can do. Once you get your milk, when you're like, I think I'm done, I'm done I doing, too. and then you're just wait, cause I'm gonna explain why this happens, and then we'll make our print. We've got two cube tips left. Yeah, I think mine, mine's not really doing the magic anymore, which means the chemical reaction is over. Mine's still going. Yeah, that one is really going. All right, so the reason that this happens is everything in the world is created uh, is made up of molecules. So have you learned about molecules in school? Yep. Okay, well molecules are like super tiny and you can't see them, but everything's made up of them, all right? The molecules in the soap, they are super attracted to the fat that's in the milk. All milk has fat in it. And so the milk, the, the, so let's watch my hands. So here is a soap molecule and here is the fat molecule and they're like besties. They just wanna touch each other. They just wanna like hug. They aren't worried about COVID. So when they're near each other, they just like, boom, they just connect together. And that's what causes the colors to look like they are exploding. And so when they come together, they do something called bonding, which is like being like stuck together. And that's why, that's why this happens. So there you go, friend. Now you know. Was that the coolest thing ever? Kinda. <laughs> All right, let's make a print. So here's a piece of paper for you. And before you, don't do it yet. Don't you, you just, you just hold your horses, friend. So we gotta tell the kids at home what a print is because they might not know. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this paper and we're gonna push it into the milk and then we're gonna lift it up and pull it, okay? Each one is gonna turn out different. Some of them are gonna turn out really amazing and some of them you might be like, meh, that's not that great. But that's okay, that's kind of like another part of the magical process of milk magic. You just don't know what you're gonna get. And so we're gonna pull a print and we're gonna set it up here so everybody can see. And then we're gonna talk about what we could do with these prints after they dry. You ready? Ready, set, drop it. I'm gonna let it sit for a minute. And then let's take our finger and push it down into the milk. Ready? I'm gonna push it all the way down so it kind of gets color on both sides. <laughs> We're gonna get a little messy, but not too bad. Okay, now let's pick up our print. 
Let's see, oh my goodness, mine is green and turquoise and yours is oh. <laughs> oh my gosh how fun is this so let's put these right in front oh my gosh the dark those dark colors look amazing kylie i like dark colors. yes and now the milk is even even still cool yeah you can do multiple prints on the same milk and while you do another one i'm gonna talk to can um, I add a green? if you would like to sure sure yeah Oh, let's, when you open this up, you wanna make sure this is up because otherwise it's gonna, you're gonna have milk magic food coloring all over your hands and then you're gonna be green at school tomorrow. <laughs> there we go. So when your milk prints dry, we did some at home, I did some at home and I cut them into little squares they will be swirly. I cut them really small. You can see the pattern of the color that was on there. And then um, some of you might be like, but do they stink? Because you know, like, have you ever smelled milk when it's not? Like, yeah, do they? Like bad? No, hmm, smell it. Oh yeah. Doesn't smell at all. So don't worry about your milk smelling bad after the prints, um, you make the prints. They, no smell at all. So what do you think we could do with our prints after we're done with them, after they dry? What are some things you could do? Maybe like make them into get well cards. Get well cards, yeah, that's good. And although we could also make a different kind of card, you know, Valentine's Day is this month, right? In February? This month? Well, I guess Monday is, we're doing this in advance. But, so it's not quite February yet, but when people are watching this, it will be February. So you could turn them into little Valentines and write after they're dry with marker. Oh, snap. This is cool. Oh my gosh. <laughs> that like is so cool. It does. It does. Now, this looks like the world. <laughs> it does look like the world. Oh my goodness. You know what? Purple world. Let's stop here. When we turn the video off, me and you, we're going to do some more because we got a lot more milk and we got a lot more colors. But we're going to stop it here because now would be the time for our friends it's and moving. crew. Still going. Yours is like extra fancy. Extra. What is? Do you remember what happens? Why it is doing all that? Because of the chemical reaction. Yeah, yeah, the molecules. They're like giving each other hugs. They're so happy. Fat and then the soap molecule. And they're just like fist bumping, having a party in the milk, on the tray, in the studio. <laughs> <laughs> and in the pan. And in the pan. So we can do this as many times as we want. But I would suggest when your milk starts to look a little, what color would you call this? Uh, cool. Cool. When it's cool colored, so cool colored milk, when it's cool colored, it might be time to rinse out your tray and start again. Start again with some clean, some clean milk. Sound good? All right, we're going to stop here and then me and you are going to keep going. Oh, snap. This is just there's the, pink under. I know. I just can't get over how fun this is. Okay. All right. Let's go. Let's trade out our milk and do it again. So that was rad. Probably the coolest thing I've done in like six months. What do you think? I don't know. You don't know? I've, I've done cool things too, but yeah. it's probably one of, the one of the coolest things. So I can't wait to see what you guys make at home in your magic milk prints. Um, we made a lot. After we were done, we made some more. So we wanted to show you our favorites. We each picked out one that we loved a whole lot and we would love to show it to you. Would you like to go first or would you like me to go first? I'll go first. All right, Kylie's up first. Um, I did this one. It's all with all the colors I had. Mm -hmm. And as it dries, it starts to look even, it looks more and more different as yeah. the colors start to dry. And I picked one of Kylie's that I liked the best. <laughs> and this one that has a lot of yellows and oranges on it is my favorite. So something fun to do with these would be to write on them after they're dry, make them into a Valentine, a card, um, mail them to people, drop them in people's mailboxes. You could do so many things. You could even cut it up into lots of little pieces and glue it onto a plain piece of paper. Oh, you like make a, what is it called? Collage. Yes, a collage, yes, awesome. You can always change your artwork and make it into new things. Thanks for making these milk prints with us. They are so fun, we can't wait to see them. Remember, you can post pictures in our Facebook group. We would love to see them, right Kylie? Yeah. Also, did you guys check out her apron? Did you notice? It's a Brightly Crew apron. Yeah. 
Those are coming so soon. You can get your very own Brightly Crew apron so that your clothes stay perfectly protected while you're creating at home. Bye guys.